Hi everybody, welcome to Wildlife TV. I'm Lizzie and I work for Essex Wildlife Trust and I'm here today with my daughter Isabella. Hi. And today we're going to show you how to make your garden more insect friendly by making an insect hotel. So over to you Isabella. Thank you. First you get a um, leftover tin and then you take the wrapper off and don't forget to give a thorough thor thor wash. Yeah. yeah, and uh, um, so first you get a bundle of sticks that we've been collecting on our daily walks. What else have we used in here? We'll see some hollow garden, hollow garden canes. They're a really good place for insects to burrow down into the holes. Okay, pack, so, pack it all tightly so it's nice and nice and compact. So also you can get some moss and. Uh, because um, the bugs like to use that as a little bed. Yeah, they like to use it to pack out their little their little nests in within the in the sticks. We've got loads because we've been scarifying our lawn ready for the ready for the summer. So hopefully you guys will be able to grab some off the lawn, leave it to dry out a bit. It's much more malleable and it can just uh, be used to pack out your insect hotel. So it's really really easy activity to do, but it's such a great place for insects to live. So Isabella's going to do her blue peter bit now and show you one she made earlier. Yep. So do you want to show the? So we have already made this a couple of days ago. We've coloured it in, as you can see, and uh, we've also um, put got some cardboard tubes, which we use for this bug hotel, and we've tied it to a string because um, if you were a little insect, you could just pop in here, go have a little sleep, and then go back out on your journey. So, like I said, it's a really easy thing to do. It doesn't cost anything at all. Collect some sticks on your walks or even better from your garden. Wash out a can. If you've got some moss, great. Don't worry if you don't. You can always use rolled up bits of newspaper as well. Um, works equally well. Um, so, yeah, just make sure your garden more insect friendly. And we're a big fan of insects in this house, aren't we? Yeah. And what's your favourite insect? Definitely a bee. Definitely a bee. So these are really great homes for things like solitary bees or ladybirds or lace wings, spiders as well. They'll put their nests in there as well. So you can encourage lots of different animals to to come and visit your garden, especially for you gardeners out there. Lace wings and ladybirds, as we know, are fantastic at eating aphids and ridding your roses of those pests. Yeah. So um, in a very natural way, so a natural predator, it's a perfect way to, to look after your garden environmentally in the environmentally friendly way. So parents out there, get your children making insect hotels and hopefully you can inspire them to have a lifelong love of nature, as I hope to with with you. Bees are her favourite animal, so I think we're, we're halfway there already. <laughs> so any other ideas that you need, then just head on over to our website. We've got loads of activities on there. Um, it's essexwt.org.uk. So, and also whilst you're there, sign up for 30 Days Wild. That's a really great initiative throughout the whole month of June doing activities um, to, that are nature-based. So really good for um, doing with your children. We do it every year, don't we? Yeah. Great. So thanks all for watching.